The axolotl is truly one of the strangest, most unique animals in the world and honestly one of my favorites. I mean look at them! With their tiny black eyes, smile and fancy headdresses, they are kind of cute! Many amphibians are able to regenerate, but none of them can compete with the regenerative abilities of the axolotl because they can regenerate nearly any part of the body, including the spinal cord, jaws and limbs. When a limb is regenerated on an axolotl, leaves behind no scaring or any sign that the limb was regenerated. When attacked by predators, axolotls can just release one of their appendages and in order to escape. The appendage will grow back very quickly and axolotls can regenerate the same limb hundreds and hundreds of times and each time the new limb is absolutely flawless. Wild captive axolotls are commonly found in aquariums and labs all over the world while axolotls are much difficult to find. This is because the only place they live is in the Xochimilco Lake in Mexico. Unfortunately, the lake is extremely neglected and the water is loaded with trash and filled with invasive fish. There are many factors that contribute to the axolotl being endangered Besides the fact that the Xochimilco Lake is super polluted, uh, the invasive carp and tilapia compete with axolotls for food. Also because the Xochimilco Lake is like the Mexico version of Venice. And kind of, maybe, why not? However, the tourists have also caused many problems from axolotls harming the population. In fact, a recent study found no axolotls living in the wild meaning that they only live in aquariums and labs and honestly it's like super sad. Also sometimes uh, before the axolotl became endangered, the natives ate them in tamales. So that's another thing. So axolotls never grow up. This very unusual feature of axolotls is known as a neoteny and it basically means they never develop into adults. I wish I was an axolotl. Instead they just keep their youthful appearances and characteristics. They are still mature enough to reproduce, but they reach that level of maturity while in their undeveloped larval stage. The cool part of all of this is that scientists are looking to see if they can harness the, that ability in humans, so we can regenerate limbs like the axolotls can. Maybe labs across the world are researching axolotls to see what makes them able to regenerate so perfectly. They are actually the most scientific sterile salamanders in the world. Axolotls are also over 100 times more resistant to cancer than mammals. Axolotls actually were very interesting for to the ancient Aztecs because of their unique look and regenerative powers. They believed that the axolotl was a manifestation of the god Solot, who was the gondolier for the dead in the underworld. Also, most of the axolotls that we are used to seeing have a pinkish white color, while axolotls are more black or greenish brown. The white axolotls are known as leucistic and they are never found in the wild. I mean, at this point, none of them are found in the wild and it's the saddest thing ever. So, since axolotls are popular and liked, many groups are attempting to save them from becoming extinct. Many from racers and charities are supporting these endangered animals and their goal is to try to keep clean the lake and make it a more habitable location for axolotls among other proposals. So there is still hope for these unique little salamanders. So if you want to sign the petition and support these fundraisers and charities, you can go to change.org.com. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and visit thebiolisapprentice.com and follow me in all my social media. And don't forget to visit my main channel, The Biolis Apprentice. And I'll see you guys in the next video.